Okay, Charles, the first thing to think about when we're looking at your bed and considering getting in and out of it is perhaps just think about the height of the bed. Obviously, if your bed is far too low, it's much harder to get in and out. Surely getting in, you'll find yourself dropping onto the bed. The best way really to gauge the height of the bed is what we're ideally aiming for. So when you're sat on the bed, really your hips and your knees should be more or less in line. Your hips perhaps just slightly higher than, than your knees. So if you want to just sit down on the bed and we'll just gauge how that suits you. Okay, bed really is not a bad height for you Charles, your feet are firmly on the ground, your hips and your knees are pretty much in line, so really I would say that bed is quite a, a satisfactory height for you. Obviously if your bed is far too low, it's much harder to get in and out, surely getting in you'll find yourself dropping onto the bed, which can be uncomfortable, can be quite painful for your joints, but particularly with getting out of the bed, you basically you're working against gravity and you've got far farther for your bottom to come up. So there's far more effort has to go through your hips, has to go through your upper body to get yourself up. So just something simple like making sure that the bed is the correct height can make all the difference to you being able to transfer in and out of your bed. Okay Charles, this time we're going to try and see if we can make it a bit easier for you to get in and out of the bed. Just modifying your techniques a little bit but without using any equipment. So what I'd like you to do is just approach the bed. Before you try and get onto it I want you just to turn round this time. Just think about where roughly you would want your bottom to end up if you're in a, a sleeping position. So perhaps you want to be just a little bit further up towards the pillows. Just a little. Okay about there would probably give you a reasonable sleeping position. Before you go to sit down on the bed make sure you can feel the back of the bed against your calves. Can you feel that? Okay. What I want you to do is, as you sit down, I want you just to stick your bottom out. So we're trying to get your bottom as far back across the bed as we can. Because by doing that, that makes it easier for you to lift your legs in and out. Okay, so just feel for the bed. You can hold on to the bed, that gives you a bit extra support. Try and get your bottom as far back as you can as you sit down. Move your head down towards the pillows and lift your, your legs up at the same time. So you're moving your body in one movement. So head down, legs up, swivel round. If you need to adjust your position and you find it kind of difficult to, to move across the bed, if you just place your hands by your sides, either side of your hip, and just arch, try and arch your back a little, that should that's it. So you're using your upper body strength as well just to help you get yourself moved across the bed. To get out of the bed, we're really just going to use the, the opposite motion. So we're going to get ourselves your legs start to bring them to the side of the bed. As you drop your legs down, you're going to bring the top half of your body back out. I use my hands. You can use your hands to assist. Again, give, use that to get as much purchase and as much leverage as you can. That's it. Just push up. So feet are now out. We're now up in a good position. Again, if you've been in bed all night, perhaps your, your blood pressure might just take a little bit of time to alter. So it's sometimes quite good just to sit on the edge of the bed, just for a, a few seconds, really, just till you feel you've kind of got your balance. Okay, and again, just use the bed to help. We're going to push up. What you're aiming to do is just to kind of get your shoulders over your knees and just lead up with your head. Just look up, just look ahead of you and just push up. And that's it, and just straighten yourself up. Lovely. Okay, Charles, you've tried getting in and out of bed using a few techniques. Potentially, you might still have a bit of difficulty in doing that. This bit of equipment which you're holding is what's called a bed lever. It's a simple piece of equipment, very easy to fit. The bed lever just gives you really a bit of extra purchase to help yourself get in and out of bed. So what we're going to do is just going to get you just to fit it to the bed. Now this particular type of bed lever is suitable just for a standard divan bed. There are other bed levers on the market that are available for wooden framed beds where the mattress will be sunk into the base. So you would need a slightly different make of bed lever for that. What I want you to do Charles is it just slots simply between the base of the bed and the mattress. Now it can be adjusted up and down the bed and sometimes you, you might want to kind of play about just to kind of get the kind of optimum position for you. If you find that that is moving around there are strap kits available which fit quite easily which help to hold that onto the bed. But for most people, that's quite adequate as it is. So what I want you to do is similar to the technique that we've just tried. I want you to approach the bed with your legs, make sure you can feel your calves against it. But this time, as you, you sit down, you can just have that extra bit of support. Just hold on to the rail. So again, just stick your bottom out, hand down as a guide. Bottom out as far as you can. 
that just gives you that little bit more support which can help just to lower you down onto the bed it can take out that dropping down onto the bed and again we're going to employ the same kind of technique as we did last time you're going to aim your head down towards the pillows and bring your you can you gently hold on to it with your other hand with that hand just to give you that wee bit of support okay using that arm Okay, again, bed lever can be useful for altering your position. It just gives you something to hold on to, just to give you that. And you feel how secure that is now with your weight on the mattress. Holds that lever in place, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, do you want to try and get out of bed now, Charles? Now, again, this is really where the bed lever is, probably has the most benefit. Is it does just give you that bit of purchase, just to pull yourself over towards the edge, the, closer to the edge of the bed, and pull yourself up. Just your hand on there and just as you go to push up and that takes away the need for grabbing on to nearby dressing tables and bedside units which aren't secure and which often over a period of time can start to come apart as well.